Hello and welcome back to another episode of Engineer Lux Farming. Today I am back at the Massive Ferguson 590. And um, actually I'm going to, or I'm, I'm honing uh, the three cylinders. And as you can see, this one already has a cross hatch pattern. This one I did already and here this is really polished and this should get also a cross hatch pattern. And on cylinder number one I have to turn the crack. I also already got my cross hatch pattern. In this cylinder I did a lot of this but I'm still in specification and here you could see this little groove. This was much much bigger and now it's it's gonna be okay. Okay, we'll now do the second one and uh, the third one and then I'm I guess I'm pretty much finished to get everything back assembled okay thanks for watching okay uh, now the third cylinder has also got his own job and now I'm going to measure uh, the bores if they are all in correct size and within specification. Therefore I got here my uh, bore gauge which allows me to measure the uh, the exact diameter of each cylinder. And I put this gauge, this is uh, calibrated to, uh, uh, to the size of a new production liner actually the diameter of a new production liner is 101 millimeter 0.05 and 0 0.2 millimeters are are available to wear off of the cylinder so now i put in this this gauge like that got here two rollers which are rolling uh, inside the bore. Put this here in, and now, as you can see, at zero there is the size of a production liner. So we are actually five, five. Uh, Fifty micro, fifty fifty micrometer, fifty not five, fifty micrometer, or zero point zero five millimeter. Uh, away from a new production liner, and we could have have zero point two millimeter. That means we got almost one uh, fifteen. 150, 150 micrometers uh, uh, of of, um, of material to wear off. So now you uh, have to feel inside uh, inside the cylinder like that, and to to measure it, you always have to see what is what is the the minimum. Because then you are uh, in the center. You have to be straight inside the cylinder like that. If a little bit more, the, the gauge will will uh, measure more than there is actually. So you have to you have to put it in like that and watch 
where is the minimum and the minimum is here 50 micrometer so we put this gauge inside and slide it down the, the, the cylinder and always pull it like that to find its minimum otherwise you're measuring crap you always have to find the minimum Okay, this looks pretty good. Here we got uh, one one tenth. That's the top ten center. But it's also within specification. And also ninety degrees. Further we measure the same procedure slide it down on this side the cylinder has a better size almost like it is at the production line just small amount of, uh, of wear okay now the next same procedure, slide it in like that and find the minimum. Also 0 0.05 millimeters, which are we now away from a production liner. That is very good. And now we slide it down. Yes, this this one is even better. And also on this side. Okay, that's it into the number two and three. So no. now that I Prove my theory or my pra practice. I got here. The cylinder number four is a has a new liner. This one is 80 hours old. This is pretty much new. So, and to measure it, put it in. And as you can see, we are now at zero. That means. I am within specification. So, and now cylinder number one, which is the worst one. At the bottom, we got also our uh, 0 0.5 millimeter. And as we rise the gauge into the cylinder, One tenth of a millimeter. Yes, and here is the groove. Yes, it's not the optimum, but it is better than it it was before. But we are also within wear specification. Okay, I guess I'm finished now. I. Uh, did also uh, grind the valves of, of, of the cylinder head to make everything nice and tight and clean and I think I'm good to go to put on the cylinder head bag and the timing case.
the rear timing case cover and the front timing case cover including the gears okay that's for now thanks for watching hello and welcome back uh, we, it's now the next day and um, I'm already got the head on top of the engine block and I blocked it up with some pieces of wood got the uh, the gasket on the block and two of these studs to position the the gasket into the center yes and now I will lift this head stepwise down okay head is back, back on was lifted down stepwise and it went pretty fine and now we'll put in sealing the head bolts okay okay I've tightened up the cylinder head screws um, I did I did it uh, on three steps first of all I did it tighten it hand force what would it be I think three to five kilograms that is in newton meters something about 40 to 50 newton meters and then I took a second step with the with the torque wrench and I uh, torqued all the the bolts from 1 to 22 with 90 newton meters and on third step I, put, uh, I torqued the all the bolts with 122 uh, newton meters and finally but this I could uh, do when when the uh, when the engine starts up and got on operating temperature is to retighten all the bolts to 122 newton meters okay that's for that's all on on the head and on on the cylinders thanks for watching and goodbye